Over the next six days, we would be canoeing the scenic Buffalo National River in Arkansas. This trip had been on our radar for quite some time and we were excited to begin the adventure. We parked our cars at the Woolham access point and began to load the canoes with all the gear we would need for the week. Our plan was to paddle 75 miles to our takeout near Buffalo City where our vehicles would be waiting for us thanks to the Buffalo River Outfitters. Soon the canoes were packed and our journey to Buffalo City was set to begin. dream in one of these situations. <laughs> Never stop filming. Minus Jeff and Jeremy hitting a submerged log and sinking their canoe, our first day on the river was incredible. We were rewarded with spectacular views around every corner. We awoke to fog, birds chirping, and the peaceful sounds of the buffalo flowing nearby. It's hard to beat that feeling you get when you wake up at camp the first morning of the trip.
By the time we made it to camp, we had paddled just over 20 miles. We didn't know it at the time, but this would be our longest day on the river. We spent the remainder of the day enjoying our new surroundings. I heard you say Meet you in the long grass Something good at long last And we're away Next to me I found you by the old tree Something we can both see This was a hot morning and the sun was beating down on us early in the day. It was brutal and it would change the way we chose our future campsites. Going forward, we paid a bit more attention to when and where the sun would rise the following day. Yes, the bugs at this site were that bad. So bad, in fact, that by 9.30, most of us had already retreated to the safety of our tents. Just to 
We were crushing miles quicker than expected, so we decided to set up camp earlier in the day. We found an awesome site with shallow water, shade, and sandy spots for the tents. Within a few seconds, we knew this would be our camp for the last night of the trip. We would spend the next few hours hanging out, telling stories, and laughing together in the river. The things we did, I can't. Living out of a canoe for six days has been an experience that will stay with me forever. And to experience it with family and close friends, what an incredible week. Our last day here, kind of sad, but at least we'll get to take a fresh shower. We made it to Riley's Outfitter in a little over two hours, unloaded the canoes, and packed the cars. We even took an ice cold shower before a long drive back to Atlanta. It was official. Our incredible time in the Buffalo River had come to an end, and it was time to head home. A lifetime adventure.